All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're with Craig's MR2, and hopefully this video will be something that everybody can benefit from. A little bit different. It's a 91 MR2. Previous owner had done some work, which you guys will see right here. Like I said, a little bit different. Um, so anyways, um, we're going to show you the car. Um, everything is pretty much for sale. So hopefully this will help someone out and um, you can find something that you may like. And we'll put a link in below um, so you can see. Craig and Uncle Kevin. And of course, if you find these two guys, you know you're going to find an MR2. So, <laughs> so, so we have this one here. This is a parts car. So anybody, like I said, that's interested, you know, we have, everything is for sale, right, Craig? Yes, sir. All right, so the doors are gonna go today. So that's going and somebody in this little ear is taking it, this gentleman over here. So that's gonna go on the 94 MR2 that's being restored. So here we have it. We have some OEM Zenki lights. It does have a V6 engine. So this- It doesn't have enough power to turn. Can it start? Starts and runs. So, wow, it really fired up. So what happened here? This car is here at the junkyard because it caught fire. Hopefully you guys can see that. But it did catch on fire, and uh, I guess the car got towed over from there. And I'm assuming it has something to do with the fuel system. But it runs pretty good. Craig, what engine is this again? A one MZ FE. One MZ FE engine. If you're looking for a 1MZ for an MR2, it runs, it's painted, probably needs some cleanup at least to get to my standard, but everything is here, you got an engine lid, now the car has a body kit, as you can see, well before we even go to the body kit, check out this wing guys, I think this is one of those things you probably find in Japan, it's kind of crazy, it is ridiculous, but who knows, the previous one might be looking at this video. So we want to respect his choice. And he felt that was appropriate. Oh, wow, look at that thing. I thought Subaru wings were high, but God, look at this. Thing. Crazy, let's take a minute and check it out. I don't know what body kit this is, but it's a, looks like fiberglass, definitely different. And um, let's see what the front looks like. Unfortunately here, the sunroof is cracked. So that's not gonna be any good. The fenders are intact. And we have this bumper, which again, I'm not familiar with, but looks like it's smiling at us. So if you're into this and this works for you, then the bumper, everything is for sale, as we mentioned. I think these are some Honda wheels. And again, everything is for sale so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull the doors off today i'm gonna be hanging out with craig and uncle kevin you know me once there's an mr2 and work i have fun so that's what we're gonna be doing today check out this hood you know it's kind of neat but why exactly would it just be cut right here can i destroy the chassis in my opinion that. Craig, you got a nice aluminum radiator here. You have an aluminum radiator. And then we have the dash is all cracked up. This is the exterior for now. So if you look in the exterior parts, let us know. We're going to head on the interior, see what's good in there. And um, I'll put the link somewhere in the video here where if you want to reach out to Craig to get a price, ship in, whatever. If you need parts here, you can help me with that. Alright, so we already started working it. It started up and then it stopped and we found out we had a bone fuse. So we had to replace it. Running pretty good. I think the 2GR is gonna sound better, but it's still a V6. <laughs> Can't beat a Toyota. <laughs> and they just always start. Alright, let's see. On the interior, so this door is gonna come out. And then the dash is pretty much gone. The dash is messed up. 
AC controls, those are still good. Got a nice steering wheel. The cluster is intact, NA cluster of course. And then we have the blue sunroof here. Visors are hard to come by these days, but these are okay condition. And then the seats, blue interior. I know not a lot of guys are into blue interior, but can be cleaned up as I've seen worse. And then we have all the panels in the back here. We had a problem with this cable for the trunk, but we just got it open. All right, guys, but you know, like I said, if you need something, just let us know and we can work it out, let you know if it's available, what condition it is, it is in. These quarter panel glasses are good shape. Honestly, the body is straight as well. You know, this car is going to get stripped apart. All right, so we're taking off this door panel for Uncle Kevin. As so most of you guys know, you got to pull a screw here. You got to pull this up. This pops right out. Two clips on the bottom. There's one screw here, three screws on the bottom. In this case, the car doesn't have any. So we just pop the clips and this panel is ready to come up. Now, it's always easier if you have the door down, but nevertheless, you can still make it happen. Don't forget to take this off. There you go. When you get inside, you gotta pull the switch for the light. And then we gotta pull the control. here so door panel is off so now we're gonna get the door off just checking out this door he's looking for one that's rust free and this one looks pretty good no rust inside here the bottom looks fine so it's a good donor for his car um, okay Kevin we got to pull the wire harness out to here right yeah pull out, pull out the rubber okay pull out the rubber all right let me have you come take over this side yeah Want me to come? Yeah. Okay. All right, so Kevin, so how do we get this door off? Right, so you have to loosen this first, this, okay. this rubber hosing. Then we're gonna get take this panel off so we can unclip, unclip the connectors. Okay. So right in the wheel well, or foot well, I should say, there's a... You take off the kick panel? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's, the a panel. Kick, yeah. Panel. there's a switch panel inside here. Um, so we're gonna take that off, we're gonna unplug the harness for the door. So that's gonna make it easy. So right down in there, guys. This, there's two plugs. Uh, you can tell he's done this before. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Kevin was telling us that he has four sets of doors. <laughs> but he always has two MR2, so you know what that means, guys? He's just two MR2 short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these clips are in there. Yeah. yeah one, one is out. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Oh, come on. So anyways, you gotta get that off. Um, there are, is that door over there? Let, let me go show you guys on the passenger door what we're going, the bolts we're gonna pull. In case you're doing this, you get a visual off the car. All right, so here we have the passenger door and there are these two bolts for the top hinge, two at the bottom, for the bottom hinge. And then this is a harness that he's unplugging on the driver's side. So it looks like these two connectors that powers up the mirrors, the locks, and all that good stuff. And once you have that, you just basically pull this little hinge right here. There's a pin that slides in, and then the door comes right off. Um, we did take the mirror off of this one, so the mirror is missing here. Two bolts here, one under here, and that's it. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get this pin out go towards those four bolts on the hinge and that's it guys MR2 door is up so now I have enough room yeah we have room let's see let's see enough room yeah uh, kind of tight need it you want a wrench yeah you know what? We're bringing the swing the car this way, so we can open out the door. What are you gonna do? Just roll the car, so. Yeah, well, you're gonna put the. You, you know what? Right, right now, why not push out the car? Come on, take out the take out the F150. So, yeah, yeah, no problem. Oh, okay. If you, have to, if you have to move it, yeah. You wanna put it outside? No, we can just we can just just push it just push it that way. Okay, all right. So we need some clearance for the door to get to those bolts. So we're gonna push. 
That's good. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> Craig, these tires look pretty good, man. Yeah, they do. Yeah, some nice hot, um, Firestone fire hawks. My rusted out exhaust, though. Because look at the threads, you can't see the threads here. Yeah. So we got tires, that means we'll probably need to buy some rims. <laughs> Alright guys, so the doors are off. It's about time to rain here, so we just made it just in time. So there it is. Two doors are sold. Everything else is available. Including the engine. So whatever you think you might be interested in, hit me up. You can work something out with Craig, get to your parts. As we all know, MR2 parts are very hard to find these days. So whenever we see a car, especially that's in one piece like this, it's always a good thing. All right, so until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Uncle Kevin, Craig, wrapping up, getting everything in the car. And we're gonna be out of here. All right. We're gonna drift it now, Craig. Start right up though. Careful that a seatbelt in I don't know. One thing, it does look aggressive. One light. Which one is working on yours? No, they're both working. Oh, they're... Yeah, but... Oh, I thought one of them wasn't coming up. No, I thought it was coming up, but you're not going back Oh. This is Craig's Beams MR2. Ah, oh, so we have to push it on? Yeah, because I've got this. It's this, because of this. Oh, it's hitting it. Oh, the cover is cracked anyway. Yeah, I have a new cover. Oh, okay, that's crazy. Maybe try to recycle it. Oh, okay, okay. So if you were to take off the cover, it would probably would work. Yeah. Yeah, the cover is messed up. So guys, tell me what do you think? What do you think of this MR2? What do you think of the design, the styling, your taste, that your taste? Does anybody know what kit this is? Let us know in the comment section. You wanna put those stuff inside, Craig? Yeah. All right, all right guys, I'm gonna go help Craig to get this going, but parts, MR2 car, blue, everything is blue. Blue with a V6.